welcome to GVOL's educational series. Today we're going to talk about the SIREN protocol. SIREN is a DeFi options protocol that allows traders to buy and sell options directly on chain. Today we'll explore the mechanics behind a SIREN automated market maker or AMM as well as the tokenomics behind the SIREN protocol. Siren allows traders to buy fully collateralized, cash settled European options directly on chain. The options themselves are cleared on chain and the funds are custodied on chain. The Siren protocol has designed an automated market maker, which is where the buyers and sellers of options will meet in order to interact. Let's explore the details of the Siren automated market maker because this is where most of the magic lies. A good way to think about the Siren Automated Market Maker is to think of it as a pool of capital. LPs or liquidity providers put up collateral which stands ready to meet buyer demand or buyer option demand as it shows up. When a buyer comes along and wants to buy an ETH call option, it interacts directly with the ETH Automated Market Maker. The AMM then locks up the appropriate amount of ETH collateral in order to underwrite the option. This means that there's many different types of automated market makers for all the different types of options being offered. There's an ETH automated market maker for ETH calls. There's a Uniswap token AMM for Uniswap calls and so on and so forth. Each type of underlying collateral has to have its own AMM. Siren created a lot of interesting design concepts into its AMM. The first really interesting design concept is that the AMM itself is priced using the Black-Scholes formula. So all options underwritten by the AMM use the BSM model as an input. That being said, there's also a slippage factor that's added on to the BSM price. So if a trader wants to come in and buy a lot of options that would lock up a large portion of the underlying collateral of the AMM, a slippage factor will be added to the BSM or Black-Scholes model price, which causes the price to go up. But ultimately, the original base price is the BSM value or the BSM implied volatility. Only the size of the trade will affect the slippage factor. The second really interesting design feature of the Siren AMM is that the AMM can underwrite many types of options of the same kind. So for example, the ETH AMN can write many different types of ETH calls, some that expire in two weeks, some that expire in two months, some with a $5,000 call strike, some with a $10,000 call strike, so on and so forth. This allows LPs to retain a really passive role. LPs lock up once their ETH in the ETH AMM, which can then offer many different types of ETH options to meet all types of buyer demand. The third feature of the Siren AMM is that option buyers can then sell their options back to the AMM, which means that option buyers don't have to hold their options all the way to expiration and they can actually capitalize on gains earlier before the option expires. This also means that the Siren AMM will accumulate a portfolio of options as well as the underlying collateral over time. As the options in the AMM expire, the AMM will automatically exercise the options and reclaim any collateral from those options. Lastly, when an LP provides liquidity to an AMM, the market value of the AMM will determine the pro rata share of the LP's contribution. The LP will then receive a receipt in the form of a token that represents the direct pro rata portion of the pool. When LPs want to withdraw collateral from a pool, they can either withdraw the mixture of the underlying pool, that would be options and the underlying collateral, or they can pay a small transaction fee or small slippage fee in order to receive only collateral back. In essence, the LPs are the people underwriting the options. The AMM facilitates the transaction of underwriting the options and meeting buyer and seller demand, 
but ultimately all the LPs collectively share the profit and loss from the options that are underwritten. When the AMM mints a new option to meet buyer demand, it interacts with the settlement layer. The settlement layer will lock up one unit of collateral and mint a B token and a W token. You can think of a B token as the buy side of open interest and the W token as the sell side of open interest. The buyer of the option receives the B token. The AMM accumulates the W token. Because we're dealing with fully collateralized options, the W token can have no greater loss than one unit of collateral. And the buy token can have no greater gain than one unit of collateral. And together, the buy token plus the W token equal one unit of collateral. At expiration, the settlement bot will grab prices from Chainlink and input them into the settlement layer. This will determine where the final underlying settlement price was and determine the value of the B token and the W token. Again, the B token and the W token can only have a sum value equal to one unit of collateral. And the proportion of the value of the B token versus the W token is determined by the final settlement price of the underlying asset. Let's imagine an example where we minted an ETH call with a strike price of $5,000. At the expiration of this ETH call, let's say the underlying price is $20,000. The settlement bot will go out and fetch the value of $20,000 and input it into the settlement layer. This is the final price of ETH at expiration. The ETH $5,000 call therefore has $15,000 of profit on a $20,000 asset. There is one unit of ETH locked up in the settlement layer for this contract, which means that $15,000 of value divided by $20,000 asset equals 0.75 ETH of B token value, which leaves 0.25 W token value. Together, the B token and the W token equal one unit of ETH, but at expiration, the B token has the right to claim 0.75 ETH, and the W token has the right to retrieve 0.25 ETH. Together, that is how the Siren protocol uses the settlement layer and a settlement bot to mint an option and create a cash settlement procedure at expiration. When looking at the Siren tokenomics, we first need to look at how Siren protocol is governed. Right now, there's an owner contract that allows the developing team to push updates to the AMM, launch new option series, and impose and levy or reduce fees in the Siren protocol itself. Over time, Siren Protocol aims to be fully decentralized and autonomous. The owners of the Siren token will govern the Siren Protocol, which means that token owners will be able to push latest updates to the AMM, launch new option series, launch new AMM markets with un different underlying collateral. And ultimately, the Siren token holders will be in charge of making the most sophisticated DeFi options market in order to attract the most volume. I hope you found this video helpful and remember, find edge, capture alpha, and slang size.